Hi everyone, and welcome to Australia's biggest child safety lesson. My name is Bruce. And I'm Denise. We're so happy that you can join us today on Day for Daniel to learn all about safety. We're going to meet Julia and Anthony soon, and together you're going to learn about feelings, bodies, and how to get help if you need it. We've got rules for all sorts of things to keep us safe, don't we? Can you think of any? What does this picture tell us about safety? It means we need to swim between the flags at the beach to stay safe, doesn't it? What do you think about this picture? How do traffic lights help us to keep safe? The green or red picture helps us to know if it's safe to cross the road. If it's green we can cross, if it's red we have to wait. Do you ever ride a bike or scooter? We have to wear a helmet to keep ourselves safe in case we fall off, don't we? I'm sure there's rules to help keep you safe at school, playgroup, or daycare too. We've got some important rules for you to talk about before we start our lesson today. Okay, our first rule is that we need to be nice to each other. Do you think you can do that? Why don't you say hello to the person next to you or give them a wave? Being nice means sharing, listening and being kind. If you can, try and join in when Anthony and Julia ask you to. Oh, it's okay if you just want to watch though. If you have a private story to tell, you can talk to a safe adult after the lesson. Make sure you ask questions if you've got them. Well done. Now you know the rules for our lesson. It's time to let the fun begin and meet Julia and Anthony. See you next time and remember, stay, stay safe. safe. From your toes to your nose when nobody goes, your body belongs to you. From your toes to your nose when nobody goes, your body belongs to you. Feelings are with us all the time, aren't they? <laughs> We've just started drawing some pictures of feelings, haven't we? Hello there. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Safety School. I'm Anthony. And I'm Julia. How are you feeling today, Anthony? Mm, I'm feeling really excited because I'm looking forward to all the activities we're going to do today. <laughs> How are you feeling, Julia? Well, Anthony, I'm glad you asked because I'm feeling really energetic today. I've got lots and lots of energy to burn. <laughs> Hey, how do you think we can tell what someone might be feeling? Well, when I'm trying to understand how someone's feeling, I look at what their face is doing or how their body is moving. I've got an idea. Do you want to play a guess the feeling game, Julia? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so why don't you play along at home or at school too? I'm going to go first. I am going to pick one of these bear cards on this iPad here and I'm not going to show Anthony what the bear is feeling. I'm going to act out what the bear is feeling and Anthony is going to guess. All right, this is the card. You ready, Anthony? I'm ready. <sighs> well, you're <laughs> jumping up and down. It looks like you're all very happy. Did he get it right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay, so. What can I look? Ready? Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. <sighs> okay, you just stomped your feet, you've made fists <sighs> with your hands, you've exhaled <sighs> really forcefully, your <sighs> eyebrows are really scrunched up and unhappy. I'm going to say you are angry. Well Very done. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, here's the next one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's not show Anthony. This is our bear card. Hmm, all right, let's see for this one. Um. Oh. Oh, that's a bit funny. Uh, I think she might be silly. <laughs> very good, very good. All right. Your turn. <clears throat> okay. This is very different to last time. Your shoulders have dropped, you've let out a sigh, your hands look really calm and relaxed, your face is really, really safe. I think Anthony is feeling safe. I am. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, how many things did you guess correctly? There's just so many different feelings we can have. We've got a song about feelings. It's pretty fun to sing. Yeah, why don't we sing it once and then you can just join us. Ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Starting note. Mm -hmm. uh, 
When I'm happy, I smile from ear to ear. When I'm sad, maybe I'll shed a tear. When I'm angry, I can stomp from place to place. When I'm shy, I try to hide my face. When I'm scared, I screw my eyes up tight. Sometimes I shake with all my might. When I'm safe, I know I'll be okay. Safe is how I want to feel every day. <laughs> Come on, maybe you can get up and you can try the actions with us this time. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. When I'm happy, I smile from ear to ear. When I'm sad, maybe I'll shed a tear. When I'm angry, I can stomp from place to place. When I'm shy, I try to hide my face. When I'm scared, I screw my eyes up tight. Sometimes I shake with all my might. When I'm safe, I know I'll be okay. Safe is how I want to feel every day. Well done. Singing makes me feel good. And talking about feeling safe means it's time to say hello to our safety helper hand. This is safety helper hand. Let's have a look at it, shall we? If someone needed help or wanted to talk about their feelings, any feelings at all, like happy, sad, safe or scared, they can talk to a grown-up, can't they? And special grown-ups are called safety helpers. We've got some pictures here of lots of different safety helpers. Can you think of any special grown-ups in your life who could be safety helpers? I'm going to choose this one here. Let's have a look at it. Looks like it could be a grandparent, doesn't it? Do you have a grandparent that you can talk to? Maybe they're called grandma or grandpa, or nonno, nonna, oma, opa. Grandparents can be called different things. Hmm. I'm going to put this grandparent up here as one of our safety helpers. Hmm. We've got lots more helpers that we can talk about later on in the lesson. Why don't you start thinking about who your grown-up safety helpers could be? And you can make your own hand after the class. From your toes to your nose when nobody goes, your body belongs to you. From your toes to your nose when nobody goes, your body belongs to you. You wondering what I'm doing? I must look a bit silly. I'm hunting for body clues. Have you seen any around here? Are there any over here? What about over here? What is a body clue anyway? Well, you can't actually find them with a magnifying glass. Our bodies are so smart that they give clues or warning signs to help us understand how we're feeling. These clues can help keep us safe. It's amazing, isn't it? Have a look at these pictures. What types of things do you think the children in these pictures might be feeling? This little girl is at the dentist, and we can tell by looking at her face that she's a bit scared. Her eyes are wide open, her eyebrows are raised. She doesn't look very relaxed, does she? What about this boy? What body clues can we see on his face? He's frowning. He looks like he's about to cry, doesn't he? But there are other things that happen on the inside of our bodies that also give clues that we might be feeling unsafe. Look here on the picture. These children are having a lot of body clues. What have we got? Look at their mouths and their eyes. They are big and wide. Their cheeks look like they are warm. There are other things that the body does too like hair sticking up. Sometimes our tummy can feel really funny. That's a body clue. Sometimes our heart beats really fast. Sometimes we have tears. That's a big body clue. Sometimes we get goosebumps on our arms and legs. <laughs> and sometimes our legs can start to shake or our feet can feel unstable. And sometimes we accidentally go to the toilet when we don't mean to. 
Wow, that is a lot of things the body can do to tell us that we might not be feeling safe. Could you imagine if a person felt like they were feeling all of those things at the same time, it would get pretty messy, wouldn't it? Most people will feel one or two body clues at the same time. Things like a beating heart and a shaking body. And sometimes our bodies might give us the same clue if we're feeling two different feelings, sad or angry. Things like tears or warm cheeks, tight hands. As you get older and keep looking at your body for clues, you'll start to understand what they mean. But no matter what, who do you think a person should talk to if they had some body clues and they needed some help? That's right, a safety helper. Okay, so if we look at our safety helpers, which of them do you think we could talk to if we were feeling scared or unsafe or if we had some body clues? Hmm, I'm going to pick this picture here. Who do you think this is? Looks like it could be a teacher or someone in a childcare centre, doesn't it? Grown-ups at school or at playgroup can be really good safety helpers and we can talk to them if we need help to feel safe. I'm going to put this picture on this finger here. From your toes to your nose when nobody goes, your body belongs to you. From your toes to your nose when nobody goes, your body belongs to you. That safety hand is starting to look good, isn't it? I wonder who our next safety helper will be. Hmm. Hands are amazing, aren't they? Elbows are amazing too. So are heads? Shoulders, knees and toes. Hmm. I think there's a song that talks about heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Do you know it? Let's go to Debbie Do and get her to sing it for us. Jump up now. We can all do the actions along with Debbie Do. <laughs> That was so much fun. Thanks, Debbie Do. Were you doing all the actions? We were. Phew! Now we're a little out of breath. Mm -hmm. There's lots of ways we can look after our bodies, isn't there? We've got some things here that we can use to look after our bodies. Do you recognise any of them? Say hello to Banjo and Jazz. They're going to help us today. <laughs> what have we got here? 
It's got a long handle so I can hold on to it. It's got a tiny little brush on the end. Looks like a toothbrush. We use this to keep our teeth clean, don't we? <laughs> oh, and what's this? Hmm. Well, it smells nice. It feels soft. It looks like soap to me. This helps us to get clean when we have a bath, doesn't it? Soap on the arms, soap on the legs. What can these be used for? They look very different, but do you think they might be used for the same thing? I think this is a comb, isn't it? And this is a hairbrush. These can be used to keep our hair looking neat and clean, can't they? When do you use a comb or a hairbrush? After a bath or when you're getting ready in the morning? Does someone help you brush your hair or comb your hair? We have lots of body parts, don't we? Can you touch your nose? Boop, boop. Can you wiggle your fingers and your toes? <laughs> Those parts of the body are public, aren't they? Public parts of our body are the parts that can be seen in public places, like the playground or the shops. Banjo and Jazz are wearing t-shirts to cover their shoulders and back, and trousers to cover their legs and knees. Shoulders, backs, legs and knees are public parts of the body. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? You, you want to go outside? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. But you'll need to put on shoes to protect your feet. <laughs> and what about a hat to protect you from the sun? <laughs> Heads and feet are public parts of the body, aren't they? That means other people can see them. We often wear clothes or shoes to cover our public body parts. All bodies have private parts too, and these are usually covered by underwear or swimmers. Your private parts belong to you. Do you know the names for the private parts of the body? A body with female private parts has nipples, a vulva and a vagina. A body with male private parts has a penis and testicles. And both bodies have a bottom. All these parts of the bodies do special things and you can ask your parent or your carer about what they do after the lesson. No one is allowed to look at or touch your private parts. They belong to you. From your toes to your nose where nobody goes, your body belongs to you. From your toes to your nose where nobody goes, your body belongs to you. Sometimes we might need help looking after our bodies, especially when we're little, mightn't we? With things like having a bath and getting yourself clean. How good? Not too hot. <laughs> Even if you still need help to look after them, your private parts belong to you. And you can say no to touch if you don't feel safe. To have a bath, the baby needs to have no clothes on, doesn't it? And that means we can see the whole body, the public and the private parts. We can see this baby's body too. We can see the public and the private parts. And when these babies grow up and can look after their own bodies, they'll be able to have a bath or shower by themselves in private. Until then, there might be only very special people who care about them that can help them to have a bath. Can you name the special grown-ups that are allowed to help you? Or are you big enough to look after your own body now? Okay, time to get out of the bath now. You ready to juggle, Anthony? Yes. <laughs> Here we go, number two. <laughs> it's time for us to go back over to our safety helper hand. Who could you talk to if you had a question about private body parts or needed help looking after them? Hmm, I'm going to pick this picture here. Hmm. Have a look at this. This could be a picture of a mum or a dad or a carer, couldn't it? Maybe it's a grown-up that looks after you at home. They could be a really good person to talk to about private body parts or even public body parts for that matter. I'm going to stick them on this finger here. There we go. From your toes to your nose where nobody goes, your body belongs to you. From your toes to your nose where nobody goes, your body belongs to you. It's time for our story. It's called, I've Got a Feeling. Can you see the pictures of the children on the front here? I wonder what they're feeling. I'm bursting with joy and on top of the world. 
So my eyes are sparkling and my mouth is curved. Well, how do I feel? Happy. What makes you smile? Spending time with my friends or family, that makes me smile. Someone very special is in here today. So my mouth is drooping and tears aren't far away. How do I feel? Sad. What cheers you up when you feel blue? Maybe it's a cuddle from someone who loves you or playing a fun game. <gasps> someone said boo and it gave me such a fright that now my mouth is open wide, don't I look a sight? How do I feel? Surprised! What makes you go, ooh? I've felt surprised when a balloon pops. I told you not to touch it. You know that it is mine. So now my teeth are showing and I'm roaring like a lion. How do I feel? Angry. What makes you lose your temper? Maybe it's when you're not allowed to do something you really want to do. I've done a good job, I've been clever and wise, so I can hold my head high and look the world in the eye. How do I feel? Proud. What are you good at doing? Are you good at looking after your body or putting your clothes on or brushing your teeth? Nasty things are happening and I don't have any say, so I'll just shut my eyes and hope they go away. How do you feel? Scared. What are you afraid of? Who do you think you could talk to you if you were feeling scared? I bet our safety hand grown-ups can help us. So if someone was feeling scared, they could talk to one of their safety helpers, couldn't they? Who have we got as safety helpers so far? We've got a grandparent. We've got a grown-up at school or a daycare, maybe a teacher. Who's this? It's a parent or a carer, isn't it? A grown-up who looks after us at home. Who else can we add to our hand? We need to remember that safety helpers are grown-ups that we can talk to who can help us to feel safe. Okay. Who's this here? Hmm. Looks like it could be another relative, couldn't it? Maybe it's an auntie. Or maybe you have an uncle that you can talk to as well. They might not live with you, but they'll still listen to you and they'll help you feel safe. Okay, one more finger left. Ah, yes. Who have we got here? Can you tell who this person is? We can tell by what they're wearing, can't we? Looks like a police officer, doesn't it? The police can be safety helpers too. Let's stick her there. Do you know the phone number to call if you need to call the police if you are feeling very, very scared? It's zero, zero, zero. That's easy to remember, isn't it? <laughs> we can call the police if we ever are in need of help or in an emergency and we don't feel safe. Who do you think might be the people on your safety hand? Will they be a grandparent? Will they be a teacher? Will they be a parent or a carer? Maybe they'll be an auntie or an uncle. Maybe they'll be the police. Each of our safety hands will look a little bit different depending on the adults that we have in our lives. All the people on our safety hand are here to help. You might like to make your own safety help hand. Who do you think your safety helpers will be? It's really important to listen to your feelings and your body clues and talk to your safety helpers if you don't feel safe or even if you haven't felt safe in the past and you want to tell someone now. It's not your fault if you don't feel safe. It's the job of grown-ups to make sure that you are okay. Don't give up. Keep talking until a grown-up helps you. That's what your safety helpers are there for. It's time for us to go now. Maybe you'd like to play your own feelings game or draw a picture with all of the body clues. You can make your own safety hand now. And remember, your body belongs to you. Stay, Stay safe, safe, everyone. everyone. And bye, bye for, for now. now. From your toes to your nose where nobody goes, your body belongs to you. From your toes to your nose where nobody goes, your body belongs to you.